Victor Bonito's office isn't like most. A scientist and reef expert starts his day on the beach. His lab is the beautiful blue waters of Fiji's coral coast. And his research is done underwater. One of the world's leading reef experts, Dr. Benito lives and breathes coral, and he's developed a world-first idea to help the species reproduce. Our team goes out and not looks at what's dying and what's dead, but try to focus on the other side of the equation, what still looks good and what looks healthy. Dr. Benito has developed a special instrument to identify heat-tolerant coral, allowing researchers to avoid having to wait for natural disasters like mass bleaching. It means he can focus on the coral that survives and help it spread. Basically, giving Mother Nature a helping hand. Nature's choosing the winners, and we're making more of them and helping them to be more reproductively successful. Fiji's government says it is committed to protecting 30% of its reef system by creating marine protected areas. But they need buy-in from indigenous Fijians, the marine resource owners. Mosese Kurimata is one of them. He helps Dr. Benito manage the reef and its restoration. And he says science has changed the way his village harvests from the reef. Fish and corals is like my blood. It's like my brother and my sisters. So I stopped, I stopped like uh, doing fishing and we'll get some fish. Fiji relies heavily on pristine reefs to attract tourists to these shores. And local food security is heavily dependent on the health of the oceans. But despite the best conservation efforts, serious threat beyond Fiji's control is threatening this work. Ultimately, we're doing this to try to preserve the reef system the best we can until we can get climate change under control. Local action for a global threat. Lidia Movono, ABC News.